Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at NECA's Aliens Fireteam Elite Burster Alien. These are new xenomorphs based on a video game. As you can see, the video game is available now. Uh, but these are kind of cool xenomorphs because I think they're close enough to like the movie type of look where you could intermix them if you wanted to. They're not like crazy out there like the razor claws or whatever. So it's up to you if you want to do that. But they are cool looking. They're unique designs. And so I thought it'd be cool to review them. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. Okay, now this guy stands when he's upright with his limbs bent a little bit. He stands roughly, let's say, seven and a half inches, give or take. And that's gonna make him close to 19 centimeters, but this guy's normally on all fours. So I just wanna give you an idea. He seems a little bit small compared to most of the Xenomorphs neck is released, and maybe the aliens in the game are smaller. I don't know what's going on with that exactly, but it is, I think, an all new sculpt, though this tail seems very familiar. So it's possible the tail is old, or maybe other parts are too, like the main torso, but the limbs appear to be you know what, it's possible the limbs aren't even new and they're just made out of green plastic. I don't know, I can't say for sure. All the Xenomorphs look so similar. But it is made out of translucent plastic, translucent greenish yellow plastic, looks like Mountain Dew, uh, with a paint job over it. And it's a really cool look. It looks very glowy on the promo images, and maybe they're hitting it with some kind of special light, or maybe they're just lighting it and you can't tell. But if you do put it in front of light, the light goes through it and it does look glowy, so that's cool. It's, it's very cool the way they did the translucent plastic with the paint on it. And mostly it's really clean. So we're just gonna dive right into the aesthetic. But first we have to do a question of the day. Are you guys who aren't playing the video game still interested in getting the Xenomorphs from the game just because you like Xenomorphs or because it's good to have the Predator go up against or because it's good to have someone else go up against it? What do you think? How are you doing with that situation? All right, so aesthetically speaking, the green plastic, like I said, it's very cool, greenish yellow. And then the paint job around it is very clean. You can see all these little nodules, whatever you want to call them. I'm guessing they explode. I don't know. It's called burst or burster, whatever it is. Burster. So maybe they pop, whatever. It's still very well done. The paints are super clean. You have this glossy blackish, brownish, grayish color. In some places, they're a little heavy with the brown, like around the mouth and then on the lower legs. It's a little more brown than in other places, but it does still look really good. And there's that translucent plastic running throughout. A lot of it has paint over it, like around the ribs and torso, but it is still in there and you can still see some of the green poking through. It looks really nice in the shoulders and biceps and then of course in the thighs as well. It's very, very well done. The tail does not have any of the translucent, by the way. But yeah, it looks pretty cool aesthetically. I like it. The paint jobs are clean. The only real issue I have is the overuse of the light brown in some places, but that's fine. And then the teeth are painted well. The little mouth inside is done well very tiny, doesn't stick forward all that far, but it sticks forward far enough. Claws are painted. You know, it's it's clean. It's one of the cleaner looking aliens that we've seen that actually requires a specific paint job, like around all the, all the bubbles. So aesthetically speaking, they did a really good job with it. I think it looks nice, I like it. I'll give it a nine out of 10, it's pretty good. I don't like that the uh, light brown is not as consistent as it could be. As far as accessories go, you get nothing. So, zero. Now, as far as articulation goes, it's not bad. The head is leaning all the way forward right now like he's standing up, but there's a big hinge for the neck, Then the head also has a big hinge, so he can lean all the way back. Like, it's not the best looking thing if you look right in the chest hole, but the head does move very well. You get a lot of range out of this guy's neck and head. You get rotation on top of that also. It might be a ball peg, but it feels just like standard swivel to me. So that's pretty good, and then the jaw does open and close nicely. No issues there. Shoulders are pretty much standard. You're gonna bring them out to the side, almost horizontal, you get your rotation. Nothing in the bicep. We only have a single joint elbow, by the way. Instead of the double that we normally see, it's a single joint that'll swivel, but you do get better than 90 degrees. So I think you'll be okay with that. Wanna point out also, Unless we come up to something I haven't noticed yet, his joints are nice and stiff. There's no looseness, so that's cool. Wrists have a hinge and a swivel. Swivel could be tighter, I guess, but that's not a big deal. For the torso, it has pretty good range going side to side, going forward and back, also pretty good. This is a soft piece, by the way, and I don't know if that's just a result of the manufacturing, the way it had to be done, and then there's like a skeleton to hold the joints together, but it doesn't feel like there's actually a joint 
in the soft piece. I can't tell for sure though. And either way, it doesn't really hold a pose, but the main rib cage does pose around pretty nicely, so that's good. For the hips, going out to the side is still next to nothing thanks to these giant hip plates. Uh, you do get your full rotation and a little bit of bicep swivel. None of that is loose. We do have our double jointed knees as we normally have. I don't think the lower limbs on the legs or the arms are translucent. I wanna be clear on that. I did say it was everywhere. It's not, it's not here to here, okay? But you get really good range out of that knee if you want it, so that's pretty cool. It does rotate at the top one. We have another hinge down here that'll rotate. It's a swivel hinge, so that's nice. And then for the ankle, it's your standard hinge. So articulation on this guy's pretty good. The tail rotates and bends nicely, no problem there. His joints are nice and tight, and he poses up, no problem. It's a little bit more uh, basic articulation than we sometimes see in terms of like single jointed elbows and whatnot, but it does work well, so I can't complain. I don't think uh, it's really about the number of points of articulation, it's about the functionality. So if the figure works, then I'm happy, and this one does. So articulation is gonna get, get this guy an overall uh, I'll say nine. I can't really think of too much that needs to change that isn't going to be limited by the sculpt regardless. So this is a solid Xenomorph. If you like the look of it and don't mind that it's from a video game that you may or may not be playing. I never even heard of it prior to this. Um, it's one I would definitely recommend. I do think it would have been nice now that I'm looking at it more. They painted the neon green in the lower legs and it's fine. They did a decent job painting it. But it would have been cool if they got the transparent all the way through. But I'm guessing it had to do with the structural integrity for posing the guy. But yeah, it still looks really cool with what is there and what is transparent. So I'm gonna give this a final rating of nine out of 10. It's a strong release from NECA. If you're into Xenomorphs, this is one you're probably gonna wanna add to your collection. It's unique and it's well executed and it's gonna look good on your shelf. So there it is guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up and share it. If you didn't like it, you can give it a thumbs down and share it in a negative way. And if you haven't subscribed, you should. You might want to. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.